Hi, hi, hi. So glad that you are here. Today I have an audience. These geese have just came flocking all around me thinking that I was going to give them food. And when they realized I was empty handed, they just kind of went away. They're kind of just watching me right now, wondering out of curiosity. <laughs> and so they might start making some noise and wanting some attention. Never you mind. Let's just focus on what we are here for today. We are here because we are trekking through the Psalms together every week, week after week, going into God's Word and seeking wisdom, seeking some comfort, seeking some nutrients. I'm glad that you are here. Today, yesterday actually, my car, um, I was going down a street a little faster than I should and my car, my, my bumper just boom, it just hit something and I just knew something very bad had happened. Well, the plastic, I don't know what you call, you know, any part in my vehicle, but there's this plastic uh, part that is hanging off my vehicle. So now everywhere I go, I have this noise and people are looking at me like, lady, you've got something hanging from your vehicle. It is obvious, it is a loud sound. It is annoying. I don't know if it's dangerous. I don't know how to fix it. Eventually someone will feel sorry for me enough to just put it back on there. I don't know. The point is whenever my vehicle is hit a low point or my vehicle has something wrong or wants to let me know, hey, I need a little gas here. There are lights that flicker, noises that come on so that we can pay attention. A lot of times that is not so in human beings. Sometimes we do very well at hiding these things, even though our spirit and perhaps our mind, perhaps even your, your body, there's a pain that you're experiencing actually physically is telling you something is wrong. Um, pay attention to this and we ignore and ignore. We can do that. We have the luxury of doing that because really, other than us, unless we are honest with those around us, with the body of Christ, or those around us that love us and care for us, then guess what? We carry this, we carry this, and there's no light flickering and there's no sound going off. So today I come with a very heavy heart. I've just experienced this heaviness, just um, follow me, this angst, this longing for something I don't even quite know. I can't even put it into words. Sometimes I think I'm just homesick. Uh, I just want to go home and, and I think about what that is and I think about that other place and that other beautiful place and my beloved and how I can't wait to see his face and I know that I've got plenty of years here on earth so sometimes I do get homesick for that. I'm tired of any pain, any angst, anything that comes and that is trying to destroy my peace and my joy, it's usually heaviness. It's something that I carry. But often um, I know that when I am experiencing this, I know that a lot of you are experiencing this as well. Um, I know that if I am leading and God is showing me something, then it is because for the sake of everyone else that I am leading to, not just for my sake. So I don't know if you're experiencing angst, if you're experiencing lament, if you are sad about something, if your heart is heavy, if your heart is breaking. I want you to know that there is room for us in the presence of God. He longs for us to bring that to Him. He wants us to bring that to Him. You know, pay attention to that in your spirit. Pay attention to that and bring it to the Father. Bring that heaviness. He desires to carry it for us. He desires that we not walk in this, in this heaviness. I, I sometimes tend to hide it well and I have to watch that. Some of you may be good at that too, hiding it well and just feeling this entire gut-wrenching thing inside and just being able, I just need a moment, I need a moment to breathe, I need a moment to sigh, but inside there's a tornado, there's a storm brewing. Um, that is kind of how I've been feeling. Um, 
and and I know that that God loves me and I know that he is he is for me and I know that he is with me but <laughs> things are happening and changes are are taking place in my life and I'm just feeling a little out of sorts that may be the case in your life that is certainly the case here in Psalm 13 with David when I read the psalm I just cried I I just felt like oh my gosh if I could write today if I had time to just sit and write what was in my heart this is exactly what I would write and I've got to lead my heart and I'm going to encourage you to lead your heart in this direction as well. I want you to listen as uh, David expresses himself and has uh, put to words all the emotions that I think I'm feeling at the time or in this moment and yet he comes full circle. He always does and he gives glory to God. Let's read Psalms 13. Oh Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, oh Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying we have defeated him, we have defeated her. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. We need to be reminded of that today. We need to be reminded that He is good, that He desires us and desires good for us. He created us for His enjoyment so that we could proclaim His glory. In order for that to happen, that means good things are coming our way. Good things are happening. And sometimes they're behind the scenes or underneath the surface and we don't see, we don't see God working in our life. And we think, where are you? Did you forget? I think about moments where I'm laying in bed or I wake up early, sometimes too early and just lay there. And I ponder on these things. I'm like, Please do not forget, Gio. I know you will never leave me. I know you will not forsake me. But could you throw just a little blessings my way? Could you throw a little cherry on top for me just to know? Could you kiss my forehead and just let me know that you are so near? Remind me. Use things in my life to remind me. And we look all around and we can find that. Look at this beauty. Look at this gorgeous day. Look at the nature around you. Look at the people around you that God has spared and saved and He loves and He desires. Look at the blessings. Look at the fact that we could have been dead. We could have gone crazy, but yet God held us. God held us. He has so much for us. He desires so much for us. So it is okay though, it is okay to come to God in these moments and say, this is how I'm feeling, Lord. This is what's going on. Just like David did. Have the guts, you have the permission to just express yourself before a mighty God who is not too busy for our rant, who is not too busy for our venting, who desires to know the innermost feelings inside the innermost desires and angst and longings and laments. He welcomes that. He welcomes your questions and your doubts and your fears. He wants you to proclaim that. He wants that type of relationship, that intimacy with Him. And often, just like right now, when we are expressing ourselves and when we are saying all that is inside of us and how we desire to be comforted, how we want the Lord to do something now, do something now. Then we begin, as we talk to Him, begin to realize 
You are good. You deserve all my praise. You are worthy of it all. Isn't that amazing? We come full circle and we realize, wow, he is so good to us. He is so good to us. In spite of how we feel, in spite of the storm all around us, in spite of our circumstances, in spite of those who leave, those who betray, those who don't understand, in spite of all of that, our God is good and He takes such good care of us. He loves us more than we can love ourselves. I have to remember that. I have to tell myself that. I have a God that loves me more than I could ever love me. I want that to encourage you today. And if that's hard for you to fathom, if that's hard for you to even begin to comprehend, perhaps it's because you haven't encountered Jesus. Perhaps you haven't come face to face with my beloved. Jesus is the Son of God. He came and He died. His blood was shed to pay for your every sin. Sin keeps us from God and God desires to have a relationship with us. So he sent his son for us. How could we ever feel unloved? How could we ever, ever feel unworthy? Believe in Jesus. Believe that he is the son of God. That he died and rose again for your sake. And surrender. Give him that heart of stone. Give him that torn up, beat up, broken down heart. And he will replace it with a beautiful new heart. A soft heart, pliable. A soft heart that beats at the rhythm of God. God will come and you will become his child. Holy Spirit will enter you. Holy Spirit will surround you. Holy Spirit, who is our coach, our best friend, will come and be near you. I hope you can make the Lord Lord of your life while it is still called today. All you have to do is cry out. He will meet you right where you're at. No need to get cleaned up. He does that. He's a good, good God. He does all that for us. I hope this was encouraging to you. I, I am sure getting uplifted just by being here in this moment. I realize now how much He loves me. I have to be reminded of it. Even I have to be reminded of it. Sometimes our longing and our angst is good. It leads us to the throne room. It leads us to his presence. We have a glorious day. I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Happy Thursday!